All right, here's the other one. Uh, Mizzou, M-I-Z. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a, a team that a lot of folks are sleeping on regardless. Now, I'm obviously, I'm going to come away with an extreme bold take here, but I do think that this is the team that people need to watch out for. They're going to sneak up, and they're going to catch a lot of people off guard. And, and I cannot wait to do our uh, our optimistic show with them because it's going to – I mean, if you're a Mizzou fan, you better get onto that one because you're going to love that pod. But, Mike, my, <laughs> my bold take is that Mizzou goes 10-2 and two this year. Oh, baby. 10 and 2. They're going to lose two games. They got the, the games, obviously, you're going to have to circle is the LSU game, the Tennessee mm-hmm. game, the Georgia mm-hmm. game. They lose two of mm-hmm. those, but they win one of those. So there's an upset in their future. And they got some tough teams, man. I know Kentucky fans are like, Shane, you effing crazy. South Carolina fans, they're like, last year was a fluke. We're going to get them this year. I'm telling you, brother, Mizzou's defense is legit. I think Cook. I think he takes that step forward here. I think they got plenty of weapons on that side of the ball. I think they're a little deeper. I think they got a little more competitive depth. So my bold take is that they become the second team in the East this year. Wow. You know what, Shane? I'm not saying I agree necessarily, but if you just look at their true road games, Shane, at Vanderbilt, mm-hmm. at Kentucky, at Georgia, okay, that'll that'll be tough. <laughs> but at Arkansas, three of those four, again, not guaranteeing they're going to win them, but right. it is not a stretch at all to say they'll win all those aside mm-hmm. from at Georgia. So all, all you got to do is win your home games yep. and win majority of your away games, and and you're you're dead on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you rewatch rewatch the Tennessee Vol game. Rewatch the the South Carolina Mizzou game. Rewatch the Georgia Mizzou game. This one second. There's the men laws I was telling you about. I thought they were already here, so I could have been a little louder opening this guy. <laughs> I hope he doesn't ever find me on YouTube. <sighs> all right, I think we I think we calmed down here. But I say all that to say this, Mike. There was some games that really got away from them last year, and I think we're singing a different tune at the start of this season. I think when they go to uh, Kansas State – now, Kansas, they're going to Kansas State this year, right? No, Kansas State comes to them. Oh, even better. Even better, Mike. I think that's going to be the shot over the bow. That's that's going to be the game where that puts them like oh, on, on alert that – Mizzou mm-hmm. may be something this year because you're right. You read the uh, read the first uh, seven games there for Mizzou. First seven games for Mizzou, Shane. South Dakota at home. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know it's a school. <laughs> Middle Tennessee at home. Which again, they'll have two games to work out the quarterback situation mm-hmm. for Kansas State at home, and then Week Four Memphis, but it's in St. Louis, so that'll be a home crowd. Yeah. At Vanderbilt, LSU at home, and at Kentucky. That's your first seven. Dude, if they could drop LSU, man, that place. I LSU is going to be the, the, the tough one. I told you the two losses are going to come between LSU, Tennessee, and Georgia. Mm-hmm. But, man, it, I, I'm not saying 11 and one's are a possibility on, on a bold take, but if they drop LSU and, and gain that much momentum through this whole thing, yeah, I, I it would not. Okay, you want to take? Okay, I'm going to reset my bold take here, Mike. Eleven and one, they lose one game, either Georgia or Tennessee. <laughs> oh man! Now on, that is dude. bold right there. That may be the course talking. <laughs> Maybe the course talking. <laughs> well, they don't call you UK Mike for nothing. <laughs> uh, hey, I know you're going to put this uh, out on the Twitters tomorrow. I've, I've, I've changed my mind there i'm going back 10-2 mizzou so I, i'm close i'm close one of those games is going to come down the wire but right now I, I may need a few more of these cores to to push them into the 11-1 realm even if it's a bolt take.